Well, I'm walking out to my pond to try to catch some bluegill. I haven't fished in my pond for quite some time. The last two years we had drought conditions and my pond got very low and I was afraid that I was going to lose all of my fish. Now everything has turned 180 degrees. All the lakes are at flood stage. All the rivers are at flood stage. We've had tornadoes everywhere and now my pond is totally full of water. But I still don't know what effect that the dry weather in previous years have had on my pond. So I'm going out today for the first time this year and see if I can catch some bluegill or at least find out if I still have bluegill in the pond. So come along with me and uh, let's see if we can find out. The ground has been so saturated that I have not mowed my walkway out to the pond now for the last two times that I've mowed so it's getting a little bit high. But as we approach the pond here, you can see that it also is a little bit high. It is as full as it can get. It's right at the top of the spillway. Well, there's the pond and it sure looks great to see all of this nice clear water and to see the pond full after the last couple of years. I'll give you a little video tour of the pond. The arm on the right we're looking at now goes toward the west and then kind of out to the southwest is the shallower arm that you can see now. I'm going to start out with this little hand tied 64 ounce marabou jig. About 14 inches above the little jig I'm going to tie a handmade strike indicator. I normally use three pound test line to fish for bluegill but when I picked up this rod it had four pound test line on it. I was too lazy to change it so we're going to use four pound test. I want to make sure I catch something so I brought my gulp worms with me. I put the gulp worms on as you see on this jig. Okay here we go. How about that? Got one first cast. This is not a bluegill. This is something big. This is something, this is something real big. Mm -mm -mm. This feels like a big bass. Man, this thing pulling. Come on in, big guy. Come on in. fish. She's tangled up in this honeysuckle bush. Get, come on out of there. Come on. There he is. Okay, now we're 
where did we put my Biffy? Biffy, where did I put my lure? Hmm? I lost my lure, Biffy. been fishing about 15 minutes now without another strike. Green sunfish. Finally got a little bluegill. I've been fishing now for about 20 minutes without a strike. Normally, back in the past, I could fish 30 minutes and catch 10 or 15 nice bluegill. But I've been fishing at least 15 minutes with no strike. Well, I finally got a strike. But it's not a bluegill. This is a real big fish here. I don't know if the sound system on this little camera is picking up all this automobile traffic, but the wind must be out of the west. Well, that was something really big. I'm only using four pound test line, but he was huge and there's trees in here and he got in the trees. This is aquatic vegetation that I've had a lot of problems with. I've got it under control now, but I'm gonna have to spray this little patch. I just don't seem to be able to catch any bluegill. I'm going to walk up and try the other arm a while. Here we go again.
I've let so many briars grow up around the shore that I'm having a difficult time getting down there where I can fish. God, I've got something else big, real big. All I can catch is big fish. I can't catch them, I just hook them.
Did you see that big fish, Spiffy? Did you see it? Piffy, look here. See there? Piffy, look here. See? See it? Ouch.
Well, Spiffy and I sure didn't catch very many bluegill. Something has happened to my bluegill. Either the drought last spring got them or the catfish are eating them up. I can't do anything about the drought, but I can do something about the catfish. And that'll be the subject of another video. Spiffy and I also want to thank you guys for coming along and being patient with us. I'm looking forward to making the video of getting the catfish out of the pond and Spiffy will be helping me again. Come on, Piffy. Come on. Hi, Boomy. What are you doing, Boomy? Huh? Molly? What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, girl? What's Molly doing? Huh? Good girl.